Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be putting the Microsoft 365 Copilot's new Create app to the test. I'm gonna show you how to go from a rough idea to a polished poster in just three clicks. When we go to the Create app, remember this is m365.cloud.microsoft slash create, or you click create along the side over here. Whenever we go to the Create app, there's a section at the top where you can create a image, a poster, video form. We're gonna focus on the poster side today. And what I wanna do is I wanna create a um, promotional advertisement or poster for our community open mic night that we're gonna do at Jolly Roger Java. So click number one, we're gonna go in to design a poster. Click number two, we're gonna go to describe the poster that we want and we would type a prompt in this box. So I want to create a poster advertising our community open mic night at Jolly Roger Java every Thursday at 8 p.m. I want it to be a vintage kind of like gig type of poster, look like a, you know, a, a vintage like a show poster. I want a skull singing into a vintage microphone and I want it to be like a retro half, stone, uh, half tone type of print. So click number three, is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna pry a brand kit. So if you haven't watched my previous video about brand kits, go check that one out. And you can create a, a brand kit with your logo, your uh, font, your uh, colors, your brand voice, all of that type of stuff. And after that, we just create it. So we're gonna give it a moment to go ahead and create that poster. And you can see that it's, uh, kind of animating around here and it's creating four iterations or four versions of that poster for me to choose from. Okay, so we can see here if I you know zoom in a little bit that um, we got community open mic night. Oh, that one looks pretty cool. I like that one too. This one's got you know coffee in it with a microphone. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one because it's like not wrapped around. So we're gonna click in and we're going to edit. If it's good to go as is, then you could just download it directly, but I'm gonna click the edit button right here. We're gonna go into edit. And then now you see that I mentioned that like, oh, I didn't like if it word wrapped or something like that. Actually the text when you do a poster is editable. So you can change that around if you want it to be all one line, or I like it being on two. And then it says, join us every Thursday at 8 p.m. at Jolly Roger Java for a night of music, poetry, and fun. I like that. That's cool. Um, I don't really like this uh, this back, this, you know, um, logo right here because it's got like a white background on it. So I'm going to delete that. Let's go into the brand kit and see if we've got any that don't have a background on it. And there is that one and it's, you know, black on black. So I think I'm gonna hit adjust and maybe I can change it to white by just turning the, uh, the stuff up all the way. Maybe I wanna move it down here. So as you can see, you know, I can rearrange all this stuff and kind of move it around on screen. I can change the, the text if I want to. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good as is. You know, I could spend a lot more time kind of tweaking and going through with the transform and kind of changing the style or, you know, having it remove things and add other things. But I think I'm just gonna stick with this just to keep the video nice and short. Final step is you can go up to the top, you can hit download, and then you can download a PNG, JPEG, a PDF, an MP4, or a PowerPoint file. I don't know why you would do the bottom two for a static image that's like vertical format, but they're available for you. Um, I probably would stick to one of the top three. And then once you download that, let's see what uh, resolution and everything uh, it comes up as. So I'm gonna open up that folder here and we can see that this image that downloads is one megabyte and it is a 830 or 863 by 1208 uh, resolution. So that's how big it is as a PNG file. If I download the PDF, let's download that and let's see what it's looking like. So that one is a little bit bigger, so it's higher quality, it's 4.2 
megabytes uh, in size for that one. It's definitely a lot higher quality if you choose the PDF format, if you were gonna like get it printed or something like that. But if it's for the web, a PNG would work just fine for you as well. And that's it, prompt, polish, and done. If this saved you even a minute of design time, hit that like button, and that's a wrap on creating and using your brand kit to complete a store banner in just minutes for an event coming up. If you got any questions or tricks of your own, drop them in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more, and thanks for watching.